Hello, hello. Welcome back to your mat. I'm actually going to take a sip of this before we start. So it is our um, ladder flow day. So today we're going to have a vinyasa practice. We start with one pose and then we just add on to that pose. So each cycle that we do is going to be all of those poses, right? We're just gonna, end. when we end, we're gonna have all of the poses as part of the sequence of that last flow. So you get familiar with each pose. Let's start and then we'll end, uh, we'll do our mindfulness, we'll do our body scan at the end of the practice. So we'll start today in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. If this practice is newer for you, I suggest going back to November, the 30-30, it's under the playlists, and starting on the first day in November. So you can kind of get a little bit more of an introduction. So let's start and get grounded underneath our feet, spread your toes, get to know your body. Ground through the soles of your feet. Turn the palms facing open. Lift up those kneecaps with your thighs. Get into that hugging of the inner thighs. Belly is nice and active. Heart is open. So draw the shoulders wide open, heart bursting, chin in just a little bit. So we have those ears pulled back in line with the shoulders and just feel the crown of your head kind of drawing up to the sky without your chin jutting up. So you get all this beautiful length. Check in with your breathing, close your eyes for a moment and just feel your body. Check in with what your body needs in your practice today. It's always a new experience. So see what your body needs right now in this present moment. Bring your awareness to your breathing. So we just breathe in and out through our nostrils through our practice. Unless, of course, that's not accessible for some reason. So feel the flow cycling in and out through your nostrils. Soften your brows, start to gaze into the space between your eyes, up, down, past your throat, into your heart, and open yourself to an intention for your practice today. Once you found your intention, just simply blink the eyes open. So two things that I did not mention is you may need, if you can't fold forward and touch the mat, then you might need to put a prop there to reach to, and also a strap for the end of class. So come back into our mountain pose, inhale, arms up, forward, Mahastasana, upward hands, exhale, fold forward, let yourself drop completely here. Inhale, half forward fold, Good. So we're going to take ourselves back into our full forward fold. Take your right palm down to the mat and we're going to twist. So this is where the block comes in handy, right? If you can't reach all the way to the mat. So twist, take that left arm up to the sky, left hand behind the back. And maybe that right knee bends if you're tight here, right? If you're able to take your hand to the mat and keep the leg straight, then do that. And maybe you just kind of want to ease into it where as we move through each pose, each sun salute, maybe you start to straighten out a little bit more. So roll that shoulder back, one more breath here. Float that left arm up, both hands down to the mat, inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, full forward fold, we plant the left palm, the left knee bends, or that leg stays straight. Reach the right arm up, right hand behind the back, both shoulders are rolling back here. So try to find lightness, ground through your lower body and find lightness in the upper body. So keep that core active. Start to draw those ribs up, open your heart. Again, if you find the space, straighten that leg out. I'm gonna keep the bent knee right now. Give you a little bit more space to go into the twist if you're tight. And float that right hand up and down. Inhale, half forward fold. We're gonna take our plank pose. So we're up to a minute and 42 seconds. We're gonna step it back into plank. 
and find your pose. Start with spreading those fingers wide, pushing down into the mat, making sure that the palms aren't turning in. So we're opening up our hearts here, pressing the heels back, lifting up those thighs. So you have this nice long body. Make sure your center is connected. Deep connection to core here. So get into that belly. Breathe. Make sure your head is not collapsing. There's just a slight gaze ahead. And let's just slightly pull those palms back. So the elbows draw back a little bit. And we've got a nice open heart here. Breath is steady. Can you feel all 10 of the ball mounts underneath your feet? So just find a steady breath. Commit to the pose. Listen to your body. So know when it's actually time to take a break instead of pushing yourself beyond what you're actually capable of doing. Couple more deep breaths, a little, few more than a couple more deep breaths. We are at a minute and 42 seconds. So we're gonna end the month in two minutes. And as I keep mentioning, if you're practicing with us daily, if this is hard for you, just do it in increments. And if you need to, you just wait it out in down dog or in child's pose. Um, and we'll join you back in that down dog in just a few more seconds. One more deep breath here. And press it back, downward facing dog. So let's just take a little pedal of our dog out. Just to get into the backs of those legs. Push your hips back, get really long here. Let the head get heavy. So just kind of shake it out to make sure you're not holding on to your neck. And just squeeze into your armpits. Take a deep breath. Let's come forward into plank pose. We'll take a little flow here. Exhale, chaturanga. Maybe you're taking a cobra pose today to start with. Maybe you're coming into your upward right away. Find your back bend, open your heart. Doesn't matter which variation. Downward facing dog. And we'll step our foot to the top of the mat. Right foot, left foot. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, arms out and out. There I go again, combining words. Exhale, back into Samasthiti Mountain Pose. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Plant the right palm, bend that right knee, reach that left arm up, left hand behind the back, breathe into the twist, and put that left arm up, left hand down, half fold, lift yourself up. Drop back down, left palm plants, left knee bends, or stay straight, right arm up, right hand behind the back, spin it around, and float that arm up, hands down, inhale, half fold, Exhale, full fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Sink your hips back, reach the arms up. So find the weight, kind of pushing into your heels, pull the feet are on the mat here. And sink your hips back, push the shins back so your knees don't go far beyond your toes and reach your heart. So belly strong here, you can start to find a little back bend with the upper back, right? Drawing the shoulder blades together reaching back a little bit if you have that space, breathe. For those that want to play with your Utkatasana while we're in our flow here, you can come up to the ball mount and hold that. We have one more breath here. And float forward. Take a vinyasa. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, step back. The left foot, right foot as we started with the right foot. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend. Downward facing dog. Deep breath here. Step or hop, left foot, right foot. If you're stepping, inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, arms. Out and up, rise to the sky. 
Exhale, Samasthiti Mountain Pose. Inhale, rise, arms out and up. Hopefully you know the sequence now. Exhale, fold. So far at least. Inhale, half fold. And exhale, full fold. Plant your right palm, bend your right knee. Inhale, left arm up. Left hand behind the back, spin those left ribs back. Float the left arm up, both hands down. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold, plant the left palm. Right arm behind the back. And float that arm up, both hands down. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Sink the hips back, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half fold. Open your heart, exhale, step it back. Take your vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward facing. Right foot floats to the top of the mat, left foot steps back. We float the arms straight up to the sky, crescent pose. Palms to prayer, and we're gonna twist our crescent. So you either rest on your thigh or you spin it onto the outside of that leg. Elbow on the outside of the thigh and spin those ribs back. Squeeze your left leg straight up to the sky and breathe. If you find more room, you go deeper in the lunge. Start to spin those right ribs back, right shoulder back. Ground through that front foot, ground through the back foot, push down into your feet. Ball mounds are your feet. One more breath here. And let's take a vinyasa. Exhale, step back. Chaturanga. Inhale your back bend. Downward facing dog. Left foot floats to the top of the mat. Maybe that right foot steps back a little bit. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, hands to prayer. And we twist. So again, you can take your hands, your uh, forearm on the thigh, or you can take the elbow to the outside and spin it open. Try to ground with that back leg. So push, whoops, as I fall all over the place. Push the right thigh up to the sky and breathe. Start to spin the left ribs back. As I said, ground through that front foot. Maybe you find more room in the lunge. Maybe that back leg can just straighten out just a little bit more. Try to lift your torso. One more breath here. And we take a flow. Step back, chaturanga. Inhale your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps to the top, left foot joins. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, float the arms to the sky. Exhale, mountain pose, samasthiti hi. Inhale, rise. Exhale, little bend to the knees, float forward. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Right palm plants, maybe that right leg straight, stay straight this time. And arm behind the back. Float it up. Both hands down, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, lift palm plants. Right arm up, right hand behind the back. Pull that right hip into the body. And float the right arm up, right hand down. Inhale, half fold, so you lift yourself up as high as you need to to open your chest. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. And once again, half forward fold and vinyasa. Step back, plank pose, chaturanga. Inhale, enter your upward or your cobra pose. Downward facing. Right foot floats forward and we rise up and twist our crescent. Hands to the mat, take a little flow here. Find your back bend, find your back body. Keep your core strong. 
left foot to the top of the mat, pull it up, hands to prayer, twist your crescent, open up the left side of the body, hands to the mat, step it back, chaturanga, inhale your back bend, downward facing, right knee comes to the top of the mat, left knee walks back, pigeon prep. Walk that knee over to the right if you can and rock that thigh underneath you, point through the front foot. Prop yourself if you need to, like put a support under your pelvis or the outer right hip and fold forward. Let's take some deep breaths here. So if you need to, you put props under your chest and your forehead as well, forehead. Try to get that thigh under you, reach through the top of the foot, straight back. So that ankle's not curling up. Take some deep breaths here. Relax your shoulders. Soften your hips. Let that left hip drop down the back leg, the front of the back leg. Just soften. Draw your right hip back a little bit. Belly strong, start to walk yourself up. We're gonna shoot it straight back into plank pose and take a vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale into your down dog. Left knee comes to the top of the mat, right knee drops. We walk it back and take whatever space you have on that front foot. Lengthen yourself forward. Rock that right thigh under you. Rest your forehead. Draw that left sitting bone back a little bit. Right pelvis softens. Breath is steady. Feel the body softening into the pose instead of resisting. Take your focus to those places where you're holding on to tightness. Let's walk it up, strong center. Tuck those back toes under, shoot it back into plank. Take a vinyasa, exhale chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing. And step or flip to the top of the mat. Inhale, half forward fold, left foot, right foot. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, arms out and up to the sky. Exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, Utkatasana chair pose. Sink the hips back. Shift your weight to the left leg. We're gonna float the right leg out in front here. You can take your hands to your waist if you need to. Ankle above the knee, hips start to sink back. This is where your prop can come in handy. If you're tight here, just rest on a prop. If you don't have a prop, take your palms to prayer in front of your heart and find, <laughs> find the balance. Push down into that standing foot. Sink the hips. For those of you that have the space, let the head drop here, fingertips to the mat. Your hands to the mat. You can fly your pigeon if you'd like to. Play with that pose. Deep breaths. Let's take our palms back to prayer. We're going to twist to the left. So turn slowly. Pull those left ribs back. And if you can, this elbow is just going to hook on the arch of the foot and palms to prayer, and press the thumbs into the sternum. Breathe. And slowly come back to center, Woo! and rise up to standing. Release, and back into Utkatasana chair pose. Shift your weight to the right leg, left leg floats up, ankle above the knee, so hands to the waist, prayer hands, holding on to something if you need 
some support. Folding forward, finding your space. So if you can, you take your hands all the way to the mat, let the head drop here. Sink those hips back. Breathe deeply. Let's slowly start to come up and we're gonna go for our twist to the right. So just slowly starting to turn, finding whatever space you have here, gaze moves with the body. If you can hook that elbow on the arch of your foot, just slowly move into it. Ground through that right foot, spin those right ribs back. Slowly come back to center and rise up. Shake it out. Let's make our way onto our backs. Grab your strap. That was fun. I know my idea of fun is a little bit warped sometimes in some people's eyes. So let's reach that, uh, put the strap on the ball mounts of your right foot, reach that right leg up. You can keep the left foot on the mat here and spread the toes, push up into the strap. Keep the shoulders relaxed. We're gonna draw that right thigh in, even out your back here. Push your right hip away, sitting bone away. Elbows are relaxed by the side of the body. So the quads are pressing into the back of the leg, finding some length there. We're gonna pull our toes all the way back now. So we've started with that point, which is our flex in our point, right? We're pulling back and getting a nice whew, deep calf opening, which I definitely need. Now let's straighten out the left leg, take that right leg across the body, push the right hip down. Let's turn the gaze over to the right. Keep pressing into the strap. Really push your right hip bone down and bring it back to center. Place the right foot down, left foot goes up. Relax your shoulders. Toes are spread here. So you're drawing that leg in. The leg is resisting by pressing away. Let's flex, heel up to the sky. Ooh, get that deep calf, calf stretch. And straighten your right leg. Let's twist it over to the right. Drop that left sitting bone down. Gaze to the left. And center. Oh, I'm caught on my curtain there. So release your strap, make your way into Shavasana. Give your body space, prop yourself. Blanket under the knees or the back of the head if you need. Arms at the side, palms facing open if that's comfortable for you. If not, whatever feels good for you right now. Release your body. You've done the work. Let yourself go. Close your eyes. Let go of any controlled breathing. So just check in with your breath. Allow the natural rhythm to happen. And you're just going to move through a body scan on your own. I've walked you through many body scans. So just moving through the body, really in a, which, whatever way works for you. You can start with the extremities and move inward and up, or start at the crown of the head, move through the whole body, down to the soles of the feet. All you're doing is moving your awareness through your body and recognizing anything that may arise, whether that's physical sensation, whether that's something deep within you, a visceral reaction to something within your body, just recognize it. See if you can do that without judgment. 
looking at whatever it is objectively. So take a few moments on your own and scan your body. Wherever you are in your body scan, let it go. Bring your awareness back to your breath, flowing in and out through the nostrils. Reconnect with your body. Start to move. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Stretch it out, arms over the head, fingertips to toes. This deep full body stretch and hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little rocking back and forth here. Keeping the eyes closed, rock yourself to your side into fetus position. And press yourself up to seated. Sit up tall, open the heart, lengthen the spine. Let's take the palms to prayer. Seal so all of that work you just did in between your hands. Press your thumbs into your heart center, draw the chin and bow the head forward. And take a moment and bow down to your drive and your commitment to create in your life, your desires, every moment of your life you're creating. Bow down to your heart and your light. And remember to create from that space. And let's honor the love and light within all beings. And from deep within your heart, send a prayer of peace to the world. May all beings experience peace. And now take a moment to express gratitude for three things in your life. Inhale the head back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. See you at 
your angels have to say today. Number one, integrity. Number two, humor. And number three, understanding. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you on your mat tomorrow. Bye.